Yes, save my data. Hello, ship Chan. Well, no, fake ship Chan. <laughs> Imposter Chan. No, wait. That's the other one. <laughs> what if the SAX has its own imposter ship? Right, hold hold on guys. Uh, saving the world can wait. I gotta do my tasks. Like, I gotta play Simon Says in the most infuriating way possible. <laughs> so, we gotta go and try to turn the main power back on. Oh, uh, the animals have uh, boarded our ship. My first thought was, why is Sonic here? We have saved the animals. Hooray! Uh, I'm gonna do this. The game saves before that cutscene. And while I don't anticipate dying, uh, it is I have in the past, and it's annoying because you you're like, okay, I know what I need to do, but the game hasn't told you what to do technically. So you get to oh some weird jumping shits. I hate those. I don't think this is supposed to be growing here. No. I just have this impression. That, that's a lot of vines. Man, remember vine? Oh, the save room is not working. Yeah, I remember vine. It was so good. Yeah, and then like... So, I liken TikTok to like, you know in like fantasy media when they like revive somebody who died but the, like the corpse comes out like just a little bit wrong? <laughs> That's what TikTok is. Yeah. Honestly the thing that worked for, for Vine was it made people be funny in, in six seconds. Yeah. It made people learn what comedic timing was and stuff. Yeah, I think that's a big thing, like... It, it, people learned the, the the basics of comedy. Tell a joke in six seconds. Yeah, just... Like, don't spend 18 years building up to it, just tell the fucking joke. Yeah. And TikTok is, like... Telling the joke for a year. Yeah, like, why would you do that? Like, it, it's fine, but it's it's not a full replacement. And there there are things I, I sincerely miss about, about Vine's existence. Yeah, like, a super long setup can be really funny, but, like, you have to be a good comedian. To yeah, up. like, um, you... <sighs> Do you know the There's a video of like this of this Spanish guy telling a story, telling a joke. He's got a really really high pitched laugh. Um I'll have to tell it, show it to you later. But anyway, he's basically he's doing exactly that. He's telling a story, a joke over like a span of 8 minutes and the punchline is just a very small thing portion of it, but like he makes it funny because he knows how to tell a joke. Yeah, like delaying the joke should be part of the match. it should not be... I don't know man, people suck. Yeah. People think they're really funny and they're just not. Yeah. And that includes me. <laughs> 
But I'm not nearly as funny as I think I am. And yeah, like, not every vine was super funny, but it was, uh... I felt like there was a better chance of finding really funny content through them. When your creativity is put into that small of a time frame, I mean, you had to make it work. Yeah. Like, I shit you not, occasionally May will just wake up in the middle of the night remembering the ingredients fine and just laugh. <laughs> like, if I go downstairs right now and just say to her ingredients, she, she will just crack up. <laughs> so, also, the game. We've been fighting this weird ass spider who is oh, now yeah, this flipping around. This boss's name is actually Yakuza. I don't know why. I just sent me the word ingredients. <laughs> why he's bouncing so much. He's, it's like he's able to flip forever in the air. I wonder why that could be. Who even knows? Guess it'll just remain a mystery forever. Oh, maybe that's why. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll stop playing dumb now. Yeah, me too. Anyway, you get Space Jump actually like, you know, like the 60% mark of this game, which is kind of neat, because most of the games put it really late. Cause yeah, they it's figure, like an end game upgrade. Yeah, jump forever. Well, in a, in a game where it's based around being in like a space station and tight quarters and stuff, it turns out it doesn't matter that much. Yeah. Okay, so we have auxiliary power back on. We don't actually have the full main power. What that means is we can at least save our game and recharge energy, but doors don't work. Save my game, save my game. This is also the point of the game where missions change. As you can see, he didn't actually tell us where to go. Yeah. We have to you just find. Have to find the false of these roots. Yeah. So like, this is the part of the game where it changes. You've been following through the game, like following his missions and everything like that. Is it too late to say Faye's voice is kind of soft compared to everything else? Maybe you need to get a little closer. Maybe I'm just a soft-spoken individual. <laughs> have you ever thought about that? I mean, come on, Argate, you, you've recorded LP with me before, you know how quiet and reserved I am. <laughs> I've known that for like eight years, yeah. <laughs> hmm. It's true, I need a megaphone. So everybody far and wide can hear my bad opinions. <laughs> I hear those footsteps. That vine looks like it's petting me. So oh, there, this is there. the this is the one time in the game where you are forced into a confrontation with the SAX. And you can see how much damage that screw attack did to me. It did like four tanks of damage. Yeah, dang.
And it's gone. You can also hide up here in the ceiling for whatever reason. Why wouldn't you want to hide in the ceiling? So, back in Sector 2. This is also part of the game where you can basically learn, like, all of the sectors kinda have their... can be interconnected. It's just a matter of finding the, uh, the locations where they connect. I mean, that's like a, a Metroid thing, really, though, isn't it? It is. But up until now, like, each one has felt very much like, hey, it's only... You, you, you're kind of only in one place. Oh, right, doors don't work. There hasn't really been any going between areas in the I same way, at least. This wasn't the first time a Terminator kind of enemy was in a game. Um... Clock Tower also did it. Um, the with the Scissor Man who would like constantly chase you. Uh, there was no way to actually like kill him until like the very end of the game. Um, you could just kind of distract him and sort of slow him down a little bit by like you know knocking him unconscious and things like that. This has been Survival Horror Facts with Joey. <laughs> so actually, when we left Sector 2, there were a whole bunch of cocoons. And in time, they all... Uh, is it pupate? I don't remember the term exactly, but the cocoons have all hatched. Close enough. Yeah. They do a thing. They grew. They they finished they finished doing that. They did the thing. <laughs> they finished their business. Man, is it just me or like the being more creepy crawlies as time goes on. Well, I guess that would say we're getting closer to the source of the infestation. True. Oh no, May's just sending me old vines now. <laughs> Are any of them good? Um... The lettuce slash cabbage vine. I don't remember it. And then she said, Hi, I'm Renata Blitz and I'm your freestyle dance teacher. My girlfriend has incredibly specific knowledge of many memes. <laughs> appears to be a Chozo statue in the vines. Those appear to be corpse flowers. Yeah, they absolutely are. Aren't they gross? They smell real bad. Yeah, they're, they're actually really pretty. They just smell awful. Hashtag botany crew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Raff Raff Rafflesias. Rafflesia? Raffles. They're raffles now. Ruffles. Yeah. Ripples. It's the ripple, oh no. Hey, plasma beam. Yay! Now, didn't didn't the computer say that if we got plasma beam, we might be able to hurt the SAX? I will believe you on that. 
Yeah, basically. It happened more than 20 seconds ago, so I don't remember. Oh, it was last stream, so yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've slept since then. <laughs> hey, you've remembered a lot more. You've remembered a lot of stuff. I was about to say more than I expected, and that was extremely rude. No, no, it's <laughs> also pretty, like, yeah, that's fair. Like, Benefits. you guys don't understand, being friends with me is like being friends with, like, well, like a sugar glider on crack. <laughs> I don't know why a sugar glider specifically. And like on crack specifically. Crack makes you hyper. Yeah, but, well, I guess that's just the first one you went for. Busting out my drug knowledge. <laughs> Sorry, my Dirk knowledge. Dirk's, yes. Dirk's! Dirk's knowledge. <laughs> I, I can't forget Dirk's. <laughs> it's just so good. It's such a good story. Faye, is there something you're not telling us? No, you know that my brother's a drug addict. That's how I know this shit. Also, like, one of my employees, like, came into work, not for a shift, but for a Smash tournament, while he was coming down from MD MDMA, and that was really funny. <laughs> can I do that now? I can do that now. I'm gonna do a little bit of... Hey, stupid bug. Uh, a little bit of grabbing extra items that are hidden. We're not gonna end up doing a full 100% because it's not doesn't really change anything other than the image you get at the end of the game and don't really feel like spending all the time. But I'm gonna get at least a little, a little bit of stuff. Also, the, the problem with 100%ing in this game, I kind of brought it up last time, there's a lot of just... Because they needed to place literally 100 items, they had to come up with, well, how do we break this down? They already did tw 20 energy tanks and 250 missiles. So what they did was they put literally like 50 power bomb tanks. Oh, I can't do that yet. Huh, interesting. You don't have the correct clearance. You're right. I have not been authorized. I have done a 100% two hour speedrun of this before. The reason that's specifically referenced is because there is actually a special clear image for doing that. Metroid Zero Mission was went one step further and had uh, clear images for uh, low percents, 15% and under. And then one specifically for uh, difficulty modes as well. Ooh. Yeah, hard low percent was uh, one hell of a, do of a do, but you got a really cool image out of it. And knowing these days how much a JPEG means to a lot of people playing phone games. Those JPEGs, they're important. You mad about Genshin Impact? Uh, no, actually. <laughs> Other people are. People are always mad about Genshin Impact. Good, the fans are terrible. The reward in um, the reward in zero mission for hard low percent is actually more clothes. You get well, you get a full armor, uh, full armor shot, and a picture of her out of armor as well. But the other the thing in fusion is the zero suit hadn't been made yet, so pictures of Samus outside of her suit. Well, we'll see, probably see at least one. But, um, pictures of Samus outside her suit just have her wearing, like, casual clothes. Yeah, wasn't she just, like, some buff girl in yeah. regular-ass clothes? Yeah. 
Um, the, uh, the, co the costumes in, um, Smash are actually what, uh, she has. There's, because in, um, on Zero Suit, there's two, two costumes of her not in the Zero Suit. One of her in, like, an orange, uh, tank top and shorts, and another in a blue tank top and shorts. And those are the clothing from, uh from the scenes. We've restored Plasma Beam. Unexpected. We lack some crucial abilities. Oh, the X have destroyed our, our last known data room. Of course it did. Something real bad has happened in Sector 5. <laughs> 